Hey everyone, we've got a software update. Finally, after one and a half month, uh, there's something new to look out for. Super excited. Uh, the update took about it took about half an hour to download and another 20 minutes to install. So if you're going to update your vehicle, please uh, make sure you're not in a rush of time. Uh, I'll put down the link to the changes that have come with these updates. Um, yeah, I think everyone who, if you are in your vehicle, you would be able to see the, the, the release notes. So the most important question is, has FSD become better after this update? So my immediate answer to this is, yes, it has definitely become better. And I'm quite happy with the improvement so far. So the main improvements that I've observed uh, over the past three days, um, lane changes uh, when you're on a highway, uh, the vehicle is way more confident at making lane changes. Uh, it still requires the same amount of space in the past, but now it is faster to react when you require to do a lane change. It's more aggressive, it's more confident. Uh, I've had quite a few good drives so far on FSD when traffic is light. Um, so even on this drive, I think FSD more or less handled most uh, of the drive. And the next, uh, the past few videos that if you've watched, my main criticism of uh, autopilot so far has always been its need to stick to the center of the lane. Um, I've, I'm observing that AP currently, when it's making a sharp turn, handles the turn way better than the previous version. It's more confident, it goes in at a slightly higher speed, and it executes the turn more smoothly. So when you have a sharp bend, autopilot actually breaks uh, in between the turn. Uh, but now this braking is way more, it's smoother, and yeah, it's less jittery. So uh, I think just maybe another, yeah, just, just a bit more this exit, the exit from PIE to TWAS, uh, that would be a pretty good example of how um, autopilot is way better at taking um, a turn like this. So if we continue watching this uh, turn, uh, the vehicle slowed down considerably, uh, but that's also because there's a car in front. And then um, throughout this turn, the vehicle was sticking quite close to the left, which is quite unlike what AP would do in the past. So in the past, AP would try to stick dead center um, as they make the turn. Now it's leading to the left. And again, the, they have not fixed the phantom signals that come out uh, when you're merging into traffic. Uh, I think this is something got to do with uh, overseas uh, driving, but uh, it's not too applicable in Singapore. So when the when the left signal pulled out earlier, I don't think that's going to confuse drivers. They're going to think that I'm trying to go to the left lane uh, when that signal was not necessary. So that's one of the feedbacks that uh, I'm trying to pass on to Tesla. So yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, enjoy the drive. Uh, I'm going to leave you to enjoy some new music.